Hi guys, it's me, your astrologer, Maria De Simone, and I am super excited to talk to you about the astrology of 2024. This video is going to give you some of the highlights of the astrological happenings, but if you want to know how the astrology of 2024 is going to reflect in your personal life, please go to my website, insightfulastrology.com, and consider purchasing your special year ahead video forecasts for your sun sign and for your rising sign. These forecasts are about 20 minutes in length and in them, I give you the breakdown of the major astrology for the year ahead and how it is specifically likely to come out in your world to help you navigate 2024 in the most empowering way possible. So go to my website and check out your forecast. It's a standalone product you can buy and have access to all year long. You could buy all 12, you could buy two, signs for the, the price of one, or you can join my website as a member and get access not only to the year ahead video forecasts, but also so much other content for your astrology reports, webinars, discounts to consultations, my free chart maker, so much more. Go check it out. Now let's talk about 2024. We start the year with Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth still in the sign Taurus. So Jupiter has been in Taurus since 2023, May of 2023, and Jupiter will remain in Taurus until May of 2024. This is typically a time of expansion in the physical realm, in the material realm. And what is going to happen on April 20th is a very rare, incredible conjunction between Jupiter and the planet Uranus, which is also in Taurus. This conjunction happens at just under 22 degrees of the sign. Jupiter, expansion, Uranus, sudden change, sudden reversals, sudden breakthroughs. Well, when Jupiter and Uranus get together, it is known to bring sudden, expansive growth opportunity your way. This will be a sudden breakthrough. This can be a sudden reversal for some people in a not so happy way, in a shocking way, but overall, it is more likely to bring positive, ingenious moments of breakthrough. It's like you're hit with a lightning bolt, but you're not electrocuted, you're electrified. This is also known as the lottery aspect in astrology. And for some of you, this could bring a major financial windfall, but it is absolutely going to bring a stunning surprise, a shocking revelation to your world in some capacity. Make sure you watch your rising sign and sun sign forecast to understand how this conjunction will impact your world. Then Jupiter is going to move into Gemini. And this occurs on May 25th, where Jupiter will remain until June of 2025. Jupiter in Gemini is expanding multiple things for us at this point. Okay, our ideas, our, our mind is open now. We are more in the realm of possibilities with Jupiter in Gemini. And there's going to be a duality for everybody in whatever area of your chart Jupiter in Gemini falls. So there's going to be an opportunity for multiple growth, multiple perspectives, expanding your vision in more than one way. And this is definitely going to be a blessed time because what is going to happen on June 2nd is that Jupiter in Gemini at around one degree of the sign is going to make a perfect trine to Pluto, the planet of power, empowerment, intensity. Pluto will be in Aquarius at that time. And this trine, when Jupiter and Pluto get together, it is expanding power expanding intensity, intensifying the goodness, the prosperity. It's a trine. This is amazing. This is another aspect that can be extremely financial for some of us. Again, you have to see how this falls in your particular chart. But overall, this is going to be quite positive because when you pursue this new direction, this expansive opportunity that Jupiter wants you to pursue, you are sure to be rewarded thanks to Pluto being in Aquarius, making that trine. So let's talk about Pluto and Aquarius. Now, Pluto is going to be finishing up his tour in Capricorn for good in 2024. He's only going to be in Capricorn from September 1st until November 18th. The rest of the time in 2024, Pluto will be in Aquarius. 
So you want to pay attention to your, your Capricorn house because those little, that sliver of time is when Pluto is saying, all right, my work here is done. And I'm either going to kick your ass before I leave, or I am going to reward you with some kind of empowerment that based on the lessons that you've learned with Pluto being in Capricorn, whatever house that is in your chart. So this could be a time where there is a last crisis in your Capricorn area, or this could be a time when you are feeling like you have finally seen the light. You're coming out of the darkness in whatever this area of your chart is, and you're seeing that you really had the power all along. Again, you've got to watch your forecast to understand how this affects you specifically. But then Pluto is going to be in Aquarius for the most part. And Pluto in Aquarius, this is a transit that you got a little taste of in 2023, but just for a few weeks. Now Pluto is going to be in Aquarius for the most, most of the year. And then it's full time by 2025. And with Pluto in Aquarius, that Aquarius house in 2024 is not likely to experience a crisis or a big loss because it's very protected by Jupiter being in Gemini. I know that for some of you, there may be a crisis in your Aquarius house. There may be a loss, but for the majority of you, for the majority, this is going to be a time where there's great intensified opportunity to come into your power and to experience some kind of healing and positive energy in your Aquarius house. Pluto is going to be in Aquarius for 20 years. At some point, it is possible that you will experience a loss or a crisis in your Aquarius house. But I do not think it's in 2024. I don't. I'm really excited about Pluto and Aquarius in 2024 because Jupiter will also be in Gemini. This is good, folks. This is good. Now let's talk about some other astrology. So we've got the North Node of Destiny moved into Aries back in July of 2023. And the South Node of Loss and Rebalancing entered Libra at the same time. So the karmic nodes of the moon are telling you that this is a time that you're supposed to be striving towards independence, courage, pioneering something, doing something on your own the development of self unapologetically. And you're supposed to be letting go of unhealthy codependent relationships. You're also supposed to be letting go of people pleasing to an extreme. It's not that you're supposed to let go of all of your relationships. It's just examining the unhealthy ones that are holding you back from your personal development. That's what has to go. And so the nodes of the moon are going to be in an axis in your horoscope lighting up that particular lesson in a specific way. But the eclipses, for the most part, in 2024 are also going to be in Aries and Libra. And this is going to stimulate those lessons. So on March 25th, there is a south node lunar eclipse in Libra that is likely to be a loss in or an ending in some area of your life that involves relationship dynamics or your connections with other people. And again, depending on your particular sign, we could be talking about family, we could be talking about marriage, career. It, it could be anything, depends on where this is. Then on April 8th, there is a North Node solar eclipse in Aries, which is a spectacular new beginning that the universe wants to give you. And the more you move towards this, the more you're going to gain because it is a North Node eclipse. So wherever this April 8th eclipses in your chart, you need to have the mindset of say yes, just do it. Can't stop, won't stop. That's got to be your attitude and you'll be rewarded. Then there's one more eclipse in Libra on October 2nd. This is going to be a solar eclipse, still a south node eclipse, but it's a solar, which means that as a result of what you have let go, what you've let go of, what you've released at the other eclipse at earlier in the year, now you have an opportunity to make a new beginning in this area of your life, and it will be supported because it's the rebalancing. It's time to turn the page now. There is going to be one other eclipse on September 17th. This eclipse is a lunar eclipse, but it is not going to be in Aries or Libra. It is going to be in Pisces. And this eclipse 
in order for me to explain this eclipse, I've got to talk about the other energy that's happening in your Pisces house. Saturn and Neptune are both there. All year long, Saturn entered Pisces back in March of 2023. Neptune's been there for years, and Neptune wants to dissolve boundaries. Neptune wants to increase your faith and help you understand the possibilities in your Pisces house that are connected to what you can't really see, taste, touch, or feel. But Saturn here is asking you to take responsibility and to be mature and to create a solid foundation. So you're literally being asked in 2024 to create some kind of cemented solid foundation around quicksand. And you have, you have this task. You have to do this. And wherever this is in your chart, this particular alignment is the area of your life that you are supposed to be being mature, seeing something for what it is and not what you wish it could be, what you hope it could be, what you dream it could be. And by being realistic, you actually have the ability to make the dream come true eventually. Well, this eclipse on September 17th is stimulating that lesson for you. You're going to want to understand more about the ramifications of this eclipse. It will be very powerful, a very interesting kind of climax point connected to this Pisces energy in your chart. And it will bring, I think, fulfillment. It will bring awareness of what you have to do next because this is a lunar eclipse, but it is a north node eclipse. So it's more likely to bring fulfillment and culmination than endings. So guys, these are the highlights of 2024. It's going to be a busy year. I know that some of you are going to have life-changing years, depending on your particular sign and the degrees of your sign and your rising sign. Please go watch your 2024 special year ahead forecast. You can download them right now on my website, insightfulastrology.com. And I hope you will have a phenomenal 2024.